yo guys let's prepare a goosey soup i mean soup for swallow have you tried this method in preparing your egusi soup and how, do you like using bitter leaf in preparing your egusi soup well i know there are a lot of ways to prepare egusi soup but this is how we prepare it in our family lives in our village especially my mom recipe so guys let's try this this is my bitter leaf i, I bought it like this so that i will use my hand and wash it you want the worst in the market sometimes it gets so hard no matter how you cook it it will never get soft and some will be bitter and all that so i just wanted everything natural and fine in this my soup well this is my you know you all know that i cook on a budget low budget uh if you learn my recipe you will know that you don't need to break your bank before you could afford preparing a delicious meal this is my onubu i've already washed it that is a bitter leaf see how fine it looks like and very soft like today's bread so this is me now washing the stock fish that i'll be adding to this egusi soup and all that i already washed it before but i use soft hot soda to soak it this part well you know now i learned that some people put tomato in the egusi well and i would like to try that method because i've not tried it i don't know what the tomato is doing inside it like what is the use of it i am just asking to learn not to criticize but because this one i'll be cooking now i'll be adding small cocoa yam and the reason for adding that cocoa yam is to thicken this soup i know that i can use i can still make thick and lumpy egusi soup without that but if you add this, this little cocoa, um, cocoa yam someone that cannot eat one two wrap of soup uh, sorry two wrap of fufu can finish three wrap of fufu also add this because it will be soften the soup and help the and help the swallow to penetrate on your throat as softly as you got to try this and thank me later so i know i went somewhere and i made this egusi method of egusi soup and the lady was after eating it she was like ah that she cannot eat egusi soup before because it hardly enter softly in her throat but this man is different well that is just the irony of life sha because some people will be like ah what the hell but that's just the fact this is my egusi now and it's getting so fine and delicious at the same time this is my obuyen suka blended with um um fish and my habanero pepper green habanero pepper if you get used to this habanero pepper bet me you will not even buy pepper from market again you will just walk straight to the shop right and get this it's half red and yellow and green and all of them are so fine sometimes it will just be together i'll mix it and get and use any one i want the aroma it gives to your food is so priceless so guys this is me adding my cocoa yam it's just as little as anything but this will hold the soup and help you to eat well swallow just once you'll be swallowing it to be going freely like well this is my um smoked fish smoked titus fish this is how we cook it in my house in the village my mom used to cook it like is it a, a fresh titus fish or fresh fish there is not cut fish and any other thing but once you add this um fish the taste is going to change it will never be the regular soup no regular egg soup that I used to eat before you criticize this method just try and cook it first please it's good we learn every day so you can still correct me and that just oh this is me adding my stock already and all that can you imagine this kind of soup i even added chicken to it inside it plus that small beef well uh, if you, you can actually use, use whatever meat inside your soup and that egusi and that bitter leaf will see hold your egusi test and give you that original test of egusi soup but if you did not add any bitter leaf you just go in with your other leaf and the ugo leaf it's it is it will be too sugary and too sweet and all that you just have to learn this method they will like me you will be able to use even turkey whatever meat of your choice to prepare your soup without even lamenting or changing the taste and all that so that's just what i did here combination of any combination and this soup 
eh? it was so sweet like the soup is so nice and tasty man huh if my hobby confirmed it so you have to try this recipe please so this is my soup now it's so fine and it's so nice if you eat this soup you will just come back and ask me pressure can you be cooking for me so that i'll be paying you yeah maybe and yeah maybe not yes so this is me dishing out the one i would devour and it wasn't so funny because i ate this food finish i still dip another one while i was waiting for my hobby to come back i still joined him in eating well don't just say this girl can eat too so you if you need this food and see it again after after yes i did i did yes i did and i'm not shy i just love eating good food i love eating tasty meal if i cook tasty meal me and kitchen marriage every now and then i'm rushing and coming out yeah guys no, that's it this is me eating and enjoying my delicious fresh egusi soup thank you for watching please like and subscribe share and support your girl thank you